so we are in the manual mode and in the sport mode. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's we're going to be reviewing the all-new Levante Modena. Before getting to this video, though, a huge shout-out and thank you to the Maserati slash Alfa Romeo of downtown Salt Lake for giving me some time with this Levante. This one is available for sale for the time being, so if you're interested, I'll include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you need any help whatsoever, just ask for John. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time I purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a twin turbo 3 liter V6 that goes through an 8-speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 430 horsepower and then 428 pound-feet of torque with fuel economy being 16 around town and then 22 on the highway. Before we go over the front end, I do want to mention if you see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Starting with the hood, I love the body lines you have here on the Levante. They're super aggressive, so even with white paint that typically hides the body lines, you can still see them. And then you got that Maserati logo on the front. And then coming down below, you guys can see we actually have some chrome trim that connects with the LED daytime running light. Pretty cool design touch there. Another Maserati Trident front and center with the fog lights down below. And then we do have parking sensors there on the front end. And notice the splitter right there is also blacked out, which just looks cool. And when you put it all together, this looks absolutely fantastic. Coming around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 265, 40, 21 in the front, and then 295, 35, 21 in the rear. And then as for the design on the wheels, you can see silver there on the top with the metallic gray down below and the red painted brake caliper, and all together, it looks fantastic. And then if we look at the full side profile here of the Levante, you have the three little Maserati vents there with the Modena logo to let you know this is the Modena package. Chrome with the door handles and the window trim. And then we have another Maserati logo there on the back. Here's our key fob for the Levante. You've got the Maserati logo there on the back. We have our unlock lock function, the opening here for the hatch, and then our remote start. So just press that a couple times and it'll pop right open. When it comes to cargo space in the back of the Levante, it's actually extremely practical. We do have a cargo cover built in from the factory. And then if I actually lift up the load floor here, you can see even more storage space. And then notice we have a lock function here and then press that button and that'll lower the hatch right back down. Now the tail lights here on the Levante are really cool actually, and notice again, connects with some chrome trim there. You got all your regular badging here in the back, parking sensors, and then look how aggressive those exhaust tip covers are. It's all black on the bottom, and there you go. And then I want you guys to let me know what you think about the overall exterior styling of the Levante, and let me know if you like it in the white, or if you like it in the gray, or the black, and that black one actually has yellow brake calipers, which is pretty cool. Notice keyless entry there on the door. Now looking at the door panel here, beautiful leather all over. I love the two-tone design. We got carbon fiber trim, and then look at the metallic trim that goes to the door handle. And then regular stuff, window control, door lock and unlock, some speakers here for the sound system, and frameless windows. Now the seats have beautiful red leather here perforated in the center, and then you actually have that to throw it forward. Leg room here in the back is actually really solid, and then you got a little storage net here, and then we have some vents here for the rear passengers and charging ports. And then headroom's also solid. And don't you worry, the Levante has a cup holder armrest. Now with the front door panel, it has that same two-tone design with the leather, and then you guys can see with the carbon fiber yet again. All of our window controls, the mirrors do power fold in. We've got memory seats, blind spot monitoring with the mirrors, and I do love the black stitching. Now with these front seats, again, notice perforated in the center already. Even the bottom portion there with the power adjustments on it is red, which is pretty cool. Cool pedal layout there with the Maserati Trident on the brake pedal. And then you guys can see here with the light control and then that's your engine stop start button. With the steering wheel, we've got really nice leather trim all around. Notice it's perforated here on the sides and get a slightly better grip. And then we've got practical controls like your voice command controls. This has hill descent control. It has adaptive cruise control with steering assistance. And then of course we have the giant column mounted paddle shifters and then turn signal windshield wiper stock. So we've got this mostly analog gauge cluster with a screen in the center. Notice it lets us know where the suspension is at with the ride height, um, but basically just different bits of vehicle information, pretty standard stuff. Now here's our backup camera. We do have trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel and we have that bird's eye view and it's a 360 camera system so you can see out of all sorts of angles. As for the infotainment system itself, first off, you can turn on your heated or ventilated seats with this and dual zone climate. Uh, response time is actually pretty solid. It does take a second for some of the pages to load up, um, but overall it's really easy to use and the shortcut bar definitely helps out quite a bit. 
We've got analog controls for the climate system right here and then more carbon fiber trim and we have some more storage space here. This is kind of like our little charging area basically. Got some cup holders here with even more carbon fiber trim and if we press this it actually opens up the center console which is massive. It has some cup holders there at the bottom. Maybe that's why it's so tall so you can put a giant cup in it and really nice leather trim on the top. Now we do have the shifter here for the eight speed automatic transmission, pretty straightforward with the use there. And then we've got a bunch of controls here for like the suspension, some drive modes, stability control. And then we have this double stack for the radio control. So the volume on the top and then like your tuner button down below, which I think is pretty cool. This is for the suspension to raise and lower it. And, ooh, the exhaust gets louder in sport mode. Something I wanna mention is I love all the leather trim here on the dash and look at the clock there in the center with the Maserati logo. And yeah, it just looks fantastic. And by the way, fit and finish is also really nice. Glove box is absolutely massive and it has more nice leather trim on the front face. So we've got some controls here for the sunroof. This does have a full panoramic sunroof here at the top. And look at this nice premium headliner as well. It also extends onto the pillars. I couldn't find a window sticker in the white one because I'm really bad at finding things. But anyways, total Mr. P on this black one, which is pretty much identical, is $112,000. This one has a brown interior, and then like I said, it has yellow brake calipers. But anyways, let's take the white one out and see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors do have blind spot monitoring. And throw the rest of the rear. And let's set off. Oh, setting off in the Levante. And we've got some exciting stuff from Maserati uh, coming out now because uh, we just have new vehicles. We got the Dracale, um, we got the new MC20. Like there's just a lot of cool stuff. But let's see how, you know, their mainstay, the Levante is uh, holding up. So first off, Ride quality is actually really good with this uh, air suspension. It helps out quite a bit. Um, but that being said, this you can definitely tell this is tuned on the sportier side of things. They're focusing more on sport rather than rather than like full and luxury. But still, I mean, like look at this new interior. Really like high quality, beautiful leather uh, everywhere. And unlike what you'll see in a lot of German cars, like it's actual leather on all the surfaces. So like seriously, if you own like you know, a, a German luxury car, just kind of feel the leather in some of the places. You notice that like some of it's plastic with stitching through it. Whereas this is like all real leather. So I think they did a really uh, good job with that. And I guess we'll just let this Cadillac do whatever they're doing. <laughs> uh, anyways, tons of torque out of this engine. Like it just gets up and moves really responsive. And you can tell like this just wants to go. Now I'm actually going to pop it into the sport mode so I can open up the valves. I love how it has an off-road mode, as if anyone's ever going to take one of these off-road. The exhaust gets louder in the sport mode. Love these paddles too, they just feel uh, really nice. Even though I'm not using them, it's, it's cool to look at them and all that. Yeah, super just like, with the gear shifts, you can tell they're quick, smooth. Yeah, I love how this drives so far, actually. And I think this is a really nice size too. Like it's it's spacious enough you can fit a bunch of stuff, but it's not too big to where like it doesn't feel sporty anymore. Okay, so we are in the manual mode and in the sport mode. Oh, this is the thing I love about Maseratis is first off, transmission, super snappy. Like it is just like instant with the gear shifts. And on top of sounding amazing, it's just so responsive. Like. I don't know what I'm talking about the transmission, just the engine, everything, like... <laughs> it's just such a fun experience. I think that really, like, just explains, like, the Maserati brand is it's... It, they're so special. They're so fun to drive. I mean, look at this. <laughs> oh, summing things up here with the Levante. I think it looks really good on the outside. Uh, and you know, the big highlight of any Maserati really is the engine and the transmission. It's just, it's such a special uh, experience and there's nothing else quite like it. Uh, in, until you go up to like, I know this is sound cliche because you know, obviously, you know, they get some components from Ferrari, but until you go up to a Ferrari, you really don't have anything else that really feels this level of responsive and just the theater you get with uh, driving. And so 
if you want like a driver's luxury SUV, that's so what this provides. Let me know what you guys think about the new Levante. That's just something's up with our video on this Levante. Again, a huge shout out. Thank you to the Maserati slash Alfa Romeo of downtown Salt Lake for giving me some time with this Levante. Check out the inventory in the description down below. Ask John if you have any questions. I'll see ya.